Hello there and welcome to uh, my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me on this discussion about hearing God. Um, it's been on my heart impressed for a long time trying to avoid it. But here I am talking about um, recognizing the voice of God. Uh, I would like to make a clarification even as we you know delve into scriptures and begin to um, get understanding from the word of God and uh, the first thing I want to clarify is that everyone is born with um, hearing abilities to hear their surroundings except for those who are um, audibly challenged but every normal human is expected to come with hearing abilities of their surroundings. Every normal human being does not need a gift to hear their parents. No human being uh, that is normal, the expected norm, is you know, to lack ability to, uh, to hear their father especially. So... It's amazing when hearing God, so to say, as we call it in Christendom, becomes a topic of discussion and some people begin to consider it a gift to hear God. Now, everyone can hear their parents, right? So let's take it a step further. I have debunked the fact that Hearing God is not a gift. That's what I've been saying since I started. Secondly, I also want to say that uh, everyone hears their parents. You know, every normal child that is born with hearing abilities hears their parents. But not every child hears the secrets that the parents have. It is only the child who is close to his or her parents that hears the secrets they share. So um, it is also the same in the kingdom of God. Every believer has the ability to hear God, okay? But not every believer hears the secrets of God because proximity and uh, fellowship is what makes you hear God. Bible says in Amos that there is nothing God will do except that he reveals it to his servants. In Genesis 18, the Bible said, God speaking, how will I do such a thing and not tell my friend Abraham? So God has intimates, right? He has no favorites, but he has intimates, people who have drawn close to him. And so they hear the secrets that he speaks. That's number two. Number three thing that will form the basis of our discussion is that as much as God speaks, right? God is not always talking. Yes, um, there is a point that some people try to drive and in the long run, some people misconceptualize that but say God is always speaking is you that is not hearing. I don't think so. I, that will make God a barbarian. God is not always talking. God always seeks to communicate, should be the right way. But we do not always understand his communications. I think that's the right way to put it. You know why? Um, about 80 to 90% of God's communications are non verbal, they come as impressions, expressions, and um, imaginations. That is how God communicates to us. And until we become uh, aware and sensitive and attentive to these communications, we may not be able to detect or understand what God is communicating to us. So that's number three. God always seeks to communicate his ideas, his heart, his thoughts to man, but we do not always recognize um, or understand 
his voice. However, that can be solved. We can come to a point where we always know when God is speaking. We always know when what his voice looks like and how to read um, his impressions. Number four thing I'd like to say and share with you as we wrap up this episode. Um, we'll discuss further in the next so that it doesn't get very long. Number four thing I'd like to say and share with us is that um, every believer can hear God. In fact, everyone hears God. <laughs> yes, God can speak to anyone. But the problem is not that we cannot hear God because we have made it to look like I hear God, you don't hear God. No, the problem actually is that not everyone recognizes the voice of God because you know there are many voices that speaks to the spirit of a man. There are many voices that can speak to a man, let's put it that way. Your spirit man speaks, yes. There is the voice of your flesh, yes. There is the voice of your body, appetites, thoughts. There is the voice of your mind. There is the voice of Satan. There is the voice of God. There is the voice of angels. All right. So, um, the voice of God can be recognized. The problem usually is not hearing, because I will prove to you in later episodes that you have actually been hearing God and when we say hearing in the realm of the spirit hearing is for lack of words a, a word that attempts to cover many methods or inlets of, of spiritual reception or spiritual communication let me put it that way so hearing in its sense is not necessarily with the ear sometimes in the realm of the spirit we hear with our senses um do not describe that uh, we hear with you can even hear with your mind yes so how i'm going to we're going to you know look at all of that and explain what uh, we mean by that but debunk it uh, that 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 idea that um not everybody can hear God. It's not true. Everyone can hear God, including the unbeliever. God opens the ears of people and speaks to them. Sometimes while they were not born again, Paul of Saul of Tarsus heard Jesus Christ while he was not yet saved. So there are many other persons who can who have heard God without necessarily being saved. God opened their ears and spoke to them. But we need to know how to recognize the voice what does his voice sound like how do we become familiar with his voice customized for us personally these are the things we're going to be looking at um, as we take this journey looking um, at recognizing the voice of god i think it has been a blessed time so far um, sharing with you on recognizing the voice of god and i hope to see you uh, as you follow the subsequent episode and please make sure to like share and subscribe to the youtube channel so that you can be up to date with uh, the subsequent release of videos and episodes on this page thank you for joining me and till i see you again keep growing and god bless you